Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What up? Big Herc 916, getting down with Fresh Out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this channel. Man, let's hit that million. We've been at this 560,000 for way too long. You know they playing games over here, but we're going to keep it pushing. So hit the subscribe button and share the channel. Let's break this shit, man. Also, December 18th, 5 p.m. Pacific time, we will be doing a Christmas bag giveaway, Herc and Sinister Monopoly. We're going to do a raffle. We're going to be auctioning off uh, merchandise, artwork, all kind of stuff. So make sure you mark your calendar December 18th, 5 p.m. Pacific time. It's going down live on YouTube. Man, I'll tell you, these people, they play these games and then play stupid. And the people I'm talking about are these big brands that do these campaigns and exploit young people and then pretend it's no big deal. Balenciaga, yeah, I'm talking about them. Balenciaga. See, we don't get down with no pedophiles over here, anybody dealing with messing with kids. They get a wig split, man. They get a wig split. And um, <clears throat> I'm surprised there ain't more hip-hop artists, celebrities talking shit about this. But I guess, you know, when you get in the bag, it's okay. You know, give them a pass. Ain't no pass, man. You hit that line and... You got that on your record, no pass. You getting a wig split. We protecting kids, man. You violating kids, you getting your head busted. Balenciaga photographer breaks silence following controversial child ad. This is dated 11:23 on Newsweek. Gabriella Galiberti, a photographer involved in the Balenciaga's recent controversial ad campaign, has distanced himself from the images. The images were slammed as child porn by some online with Galiberti's shoot featuring a child holding a teddy which has bondage gear on. Another campaign shot by a different photographer featured unsettling documents in an office setting. The fashion brand has since apologized and suggested it would take legal action against the parties responsible for creating the set that featured the documents. The documents, one of them was uh, um, involving a, 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 a ruling against child pornography. And see, these people, man, they keep putting it out there. These are some evil, dark, satanistic people who don't care about your kids or you. They just want your money, man. And to me, man, it, when when you don't directly look at evil in the eye and let it be known that you you recognize then you're just as bad it, this is this is not something that should be taken lightly and um you know to hell with that brand man anybody that pushes that i'm telling you they get no pass man they get no pass you know what the hell you're doing you spend millions of dollars advertising you don't know about what the advertising is you don't know what that document is symbolic of, saying that you're blatantly uh, um, going against the, that you're challenging the ruling, that you're gonna put it out there and this is what you advocate? Hey man, <coughs> whoever whoever's down with that, man, you, you ain't gotta worry about following our channel, man. The pictures went viral when social media users compared the images as child porn. Balenciaga objects 
shoot included several photos of children with series of items including one photo with a toy bear wearing what appeared to be bondage gear another showed a toy bear wearing a string vest and a choker as a photographer i was only and solely requested to let the given scene and take the shots according to my signature style Galiberti continued as usual the direction of the campaign and of the shooting are not on the hands of the photographer uh I suspect that any person prone to pedophilia searches on the web and has unfortunately a too easy access to images completely different than mine, absolutely explicit in their awful content, lynching like these are addressed against wrong targets and distract from the real problem and criminals. And it don't, it don't distract, man. They know what they're doing, man. Every, they're, they're trying to, to desensitize you to something that's very serious. And the people who are into this want you to make you think it's normal, that it's not that bad. It is bad, man. And um, no matter what you try to do to soften it or put lipstick on it, it's not going to change the public sentiment about that. And I don't know anybody who would agree or go against uh, letting anybody do anything close to this with their children. I mean, this is, this is, uh, this is very unsettling. Among those papers were taken from the 2008 Supreme Court ruling, United States versus Williams, according to the OIS, a free law project by Cornell's legal information to the said case examined whether laws banning the pandering, promoting of child pornography curtailed First Amendment freedom of speech rights. There you have it, man. I mean, these people, man, they, they think that they can play with this topic and it's okay, man. And um, they they mock, they mock everybody. This is what they've been doing, man. This stuff, man. If you everything else, when you see going on, they put it out there to see how you're gonna respond. You know how far they can push it. How much can they get away with? This is what they do. This is exactly what they do. Um, the photographer wrote. Also, I have no connection with the photo where Supreme Court documents appears. That one was taken in another set by other people and was falsely associated with my photos. He spoke out on Instagram after claiming he'd received hundreds of hate mails and messages as a result of his involvement with the recent Balenciaga ad campaign. Balenciaga confirmed in Newsweek that it would stop selling the toy bears featured in the images. Man, they, they, don't, they don't care, man. They don't care about you. These people are into some stuff, man, that goes beyond what you would, it would turn your stomach, man. And uh, I'm just keeping it 100 because um, I, I think it's disgusting. And um, I, I, don't, I don't think anybody should even want to wear that shit, man. You know, represent. I, I ain't touching anything they got anything to do with. It's not like I was trying to chase it before because I don't really care about it. But this just puts the icing on the cake, man. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think and, you know, uh, why you think more people aren't really in an uprage about the exploitation of our young children in this type of uh, format. Big Herc 916, getting down and fresh out. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said, wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com.